Harry, thank you for joining us. How's pre-season going so far? Really good. It's nice to have the new boys integrated into the group as well and spending a bit of time with them. It's important to try and get the, the groundwork done very early, get the fitness in, which we've been doing a lot of, a lot of running. So it's been, it's been enjoyable so far. And we're looking forward to now with the fixture list coming up and being able to play games and putting all the practice we're doing out on the field into play is, is, is it's an exciting time. Talk us through a Carlos Corbran pre-season. Um, hard, hard work, as you'd expect. Uh, long days, thinking um, more to the double session vibe and there's a lot of running, but it's all calculated. It's not ridiculous amount of running as, as some people might think it's very much the sports scientists lead it as well as as the manager and, and all of the management staff and it's something that us as players we benefited from a shorter pre-season last season and we started the season extremely well um, we were a lot fitter than most most teams we've now got that experience we've got the robustness in our systems now and hopefully we've got rid of some of the injuries that we had our bodies have become more accustomed to the the style of play so then we're looking forward to, to having the new lads in have brought definitely a different dimension to the group as well. So it's, no, it's an exciting time and I'm looking forward to going from strength to strength. There's plenty of first team friendlies lined up. How do those friendlies help you prepare for the upcoming season? Well, they're massive. I think you can go do a lot of drills on the training pitch until you put them into practice against, to, against an opposition. Then it's, it's very different. We can do murder ball sessions and Sometimes the game intensity is not as intense as the murderable session, but it's about getting the, the methods and the way we want to play in, in the sort of the triangles we want to create and the different ways that we want to and the style we want. But it's, it's, it's all about putting it into practice and making sure that we're doing the right things. So we are most equipped when it comes to Sheffield Wednesday on the Sunday. You played your first pre-season game against Harrogate last Saturday. You played alongside some of the boys for their first 45 minutes and then got to see the others play their first 45. So how do you think they got on? Really good. I think the manager is very happy as well. And for us players, been able to see strong players coming into the group, strong characters as well, which have definitely raised the morale of the group and, and raised the standard is, is something massive. A player that's going into my third season now at the club, it's important to have new players coming in that are willing to fight. And they've just got more of the, the philosophy and the identity that this football club wants. And I'm sure the fans will, will gravitate to all of them and, and it'll be an exciting season. As you said there, you've been here a while now and you were announced as one of the vice captains ahead of the season. How does it feel to have that trust from Carlos? It's a massive honour. I've done a lot of work individually with Carlos and, and his management team as well. And to be able to be on, on that with Lewis, everyone knows me and Lewis are best buddies. To have that with Lewis is great and Fraser as well, his wealth of experience. And then Hoggy, the general, we all know the hierarchy. Hoggy's definitely the general and he, he runs the ship. So we're there to offer support for Hoggy and offer a support for the manager and, and sort of bridge a gap between the players and the, uh, the management team. Looking ahead to Southport on Saturday, what do you expect to get out of that game? I think it's going to be important for us to put our stamp on the game very early. I think we've got to get our, the way we're playing and what we're working on. We're working on new styles of play this, this season. We've got new players coming in. We want to integrate them as quick as possible. Hopefully be able to play more minutes. It'll be important for us to try and notch up more and more minutes going into the season, which I think is only three weeks, three weeks out now. So that's going to come around quicker than we even know. So... It's important for us to embed ourselves into the game very early and, and, and look forward to, to moving the ball around, enjoy the ball, but also look forward to a, a competitive Southport side. The fans will be there on Saturday. It's the first time that they'll have seen you play in 497 days. Wow. How excited are you to be reunited with Town supporters? Incredible. It's, it's something as players we've, and probably the fans will feel the same, we've felt so distant from the football club and from the players themselves because we've not been able to see them. But the support that we get on social media and the support when I'm walking around, I live around this area, so I see a lot of Huddersfield fans and we really appreciate it. And we understand the fans are frustrated with not being able to come to games and obviously there's a, a wide, a worldwide problem at the minute with the pandemic. So I think it's, it's very important for people's mental health as well to be able to get back to games and seeing, enjoying seeing football and, and doing the thing they love by going to the, the games with their family. So for us as players, it's important to have them there. 
because I'm sure last season in, in certain games, if we'd have had them behind us, it would, might have been a different, uh, different tale. And finally, on a personal note, what are your goals and aspirations for the season? To go bigger and better than last season, I think I started the season very strong. I wanted to, I want to do that again, start hit the ground running. And then I was unfortunate for injury to, to miss quite a large amount of the season. I hopefully got over that, well, I have got over that now. So I want to improve the managers working on specific things to improve my game from last season. He's doing that with all the players as well. So I've got a real good vibe about this season. It's it's a lot better dressing room environment to be in. The club's got a very forward-thinking sort of mind, and as a player who's going into, like I said, into the third season now, I'm looking forward to seeing what it brings.